Welcome back. And in our second basic piece of training in November, it's gonna take you up to another notch. And it's gonna get tougher, but you're gonna benefit a lot from it. So on our last class, we learned how to prep our trigger and shoot fast and accurate. And we also learned how to draw and fire fast and accurately. And we also learned target transition. But on this class, we're gonna take you up another notch. And that includes both pistol, EDC, and your race gun or full size. And I want to thank USPCA shooter Chris and Kevin who helped to formulate this class. And today, Chris and I did the demonstration. Okay, today I'm shooting with USPCA shooter Chris. And he's going to show me some ropes. And I know I'm going to get my ass kicked today because it's going to be a lot of stuff that he's used to shooting, but I'm not. But let's see how we do. Uh, it, it's going to be fine. We're going to have fun. He's going to have fun. I don't know about <laughs> him. Okay, like an idiot, I forgot my concealed carry holster, so I'm gonna have to go with the race holster with a short over. So I know it's gonna look stupid, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And right off the bat, we're gonna start with EDC. And as you know, in defense shooting, you're never shooting standing still. So you need to learn how to move and shoot in different directions. So from a concealment, we're gonna draw and fire eight shots circling the barrel. So it's gonna be two shot forward, two shot to the right, two shot backwards, and two shot to the left. And then we're gonna reholster it, and then we're gonna repeat over and over again. And when you're empty, you need to reload and continue. So here we're gonna be shooting three or four full magazines, and we're gonna reload as needed. And I want you to practice how to reload at home. If you're trying to learn at the class, it's gonna take you too long. And I did it myself at home, so you shouldn't have any problem, but have your EDC pistol with the action open, with a magazine in and make sure it is empty, and have the extra magazines in your pocket, because that's how we're gonna carry and make sure the bullet end is where your index finger is. So you put this in like this in your pocket. So as you pull it, it comes out like this and you just have to snap it in. And make sure you have a carpet on the floor. So with the action of magazine in, point like you're shooting, put your finger in, actually pull the trigger, drop it, put the next one on, release, and go bang. Pop, drop, new one, pop. That's how you want to practice. So practice over and over again until you feel very comfortable and it's gonna help in the class. So here we're gonna be shooting about 60 plus rounds and at the end I'm gonna have guys try individually three times and see what their best time is. Very good. 16 shot time 16.60. Is it finished? I don't know. Is it show clear? It's clear. Hammer down. Holster. Two minutes, right? 16.03. With a two miss. As you know, according to FBI data, over 90% of defense shooting happens within five yards. So practicing up to 15 yards should be more than enough and it makes sense. So here we're gonna have a target of five yards, 10 yards, and 15 yards. And Chris told me that when we practice, we should practice to shoot faster at closer range and more accurate as it gets farther. So at five yards, triple tap, 10 yards, double tap, and 15 yards, single tap. And after every run, we're gonna reholster and draw and fire again. And we're gonna do it over and over again and change the magazine as needed. And we're gonna shoot out three to four magazines. So in this reel, we're gonna be using more than 60 rounds. And at the end, I'm gonna have the individuals try three times and see the best time. And I'm really looking forward to showing you this demonstration. And I have a big smile on my face and you will know why.
Okay. 12 shots times 12 seconds. Miss two shots, so there's four second penalty. So there's 16 seconds. We're finished on the shot clear. Clear him down. Holster. Range is clear. 12 shot. 10 16. Woo! I beat Chris! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! 10 16. It's my day. Okay. Chris is a sportsman, so he accepts the defeat, but he's not trying to make up his shots, but he want to do one more practice. And I'm going to record this just to show you if he could beat me off the book. <laughs> <laughs> off the book. <laughs> Miss. One miss. So time 11.67, 12 shots, one miss, penalty two seconds, so that's 13.67. Next, we're gonna switch to our race gun. And again, I wanna teach you guys to shoot fast and accurately, but this time out to 25 yards. And with a Chris input at 7 yards, we're gonna triple tap and 15 yards double tap and 25 yards single tap. And the target starts from small and it gets a little bit bigger. And after every round, we're gonna re-holster, we're gonna redraw, we're gonna repeat over and over again, and reload as needed. And we're gonna go through three to four magazines, so again, about 60 plus rounds. And at the end, we're gonna have individuals try three times and see the best time. Again, you need to practice how to reload from home. And this is my race gun, as you know. Make sure it is empty. Action open. Magazine in. And again, you want to have your index finger toward the bullet. And if you don't have a magazine holder, you could tuck this in your belt, just like so. With the action open, magazine in. Point, if you got the red diamond, that's fine. Pretend you just pull the trigger, drop it, put the next one in, release, and pull. Repeat this over and over again. And make sure that you get used to your race gun and EDC. Sometimes you could get confused between those two. So right after we change guns, during the make ready session, check your action release. Oh hit! Time 3.67, very good. Four, one, nine. Next is toughest coach here. And it's gonna be moving transition with a reload. So here we're gonna have a four steals at seven yards and we're gonna have four shooting boxes. So at the first box, we're gonna have our gun up, trigger prep, and at the bit, we're gonna double tap, we're gonna reload, run to next box, single tap, third box, single tap, and on the fourth box, double tap. And we're gonna make it safe and we're gonna holster it. And then we're gonna repeat it over and over again. And again, here we're gonna use about three to four magazines, so it's gonna be about 60 plus rounds. And at the end, we're gonna have individuals try three times and get the best time. Yes, it won't be easy, but you will learn a lot, like I did. It was first time for me, and I learned a lot. Time, 6.07. And on last reel, it's gonna be a build reel. You know this, seven yards, six rounds, from a dry and fire, fast as you can. And Chris, he wanted to prove that he could do it under two seconds, which he did in the past, but on our last try, he failed. So this time, he wanted to prove himself and redeem himself. Let's take a look. Woo, six in, time. 1.94, still two, sub two seconds. Job well done. I redeemed myself. Yes. <laughs> two, three, eight. You got, you got two. You're getting better. Much better. Yeah, two, three, eight. Two, three, eight. My next goal is under two seconds. Oh. <laughs> 
like always, it's great to shoot with Chris, and as you've seen it, I shooting with him, my skills get much better, and I'm improving every time. And I always to Chris, so thank you. Thank you so much. So, that was fun. Yes. So yeah. we'll come back next month with Chris again. Can I'll be here. It? Oops! I have a one more drill. Now, like most of us, after Halloween, what we gonna do with our pumpkins? I want to do a mag dump on our pumpkin. And it might take single mag, two mag, or three mags. We're gonna dump on it until it's completely into pieces and have it ready for the wildlife. And I did this last year, and trust me, it didn't take three or four days for the wildlife to come and enjoy the meal. So again, don't throw away your Halloween pumpkins. Bring them with you to the class. Well, in November, my best time to have a class is on the 11th. But 18 is also possible, but after 18, as you know, it's Thanksgiving and it's time for the family. And thank the Lord for everything that we have. So if you're interested, send me an email and I will get back to you. And send me this class, we're gonna shoot over 300 rounds, so bring plenty of ammunition and at least three magazines for each pistol. See ya.